I figured the the main topic is what are what are the implementation bottlenecks. Well, the first thing we need to realize is we have multiple stakeholders. In fact, uh, MPDA, we are celebrating our 50 years of existence. And uh, the, the chairman, he for, you know, expressed a very good uh, point of view. He said, we should no longer be MPEDA, we should become MPDA. You know, just remove the promotion, uh, the export part about it. It should be Marine Products Development Authority. Because if you just look at the seafood value chain, these are the amount of multiple stakeholders I've uh, listed. MPDA, the EIA and EIC, which is Export Inspection Agency, Export Inspection Council. These are both central government. They come under the uh, Commerce Ministry. Then you have the CAA, Coastal Aquaculture Authority. They technically come under Ministry of Agriculture. Then you have the state fisheries department, you have the central fisheries department, you know, then you have the governments of uh, importing countries, like in, uh, for the European Union market will be DG Sante, will be uh, FDA, FDA for the US markets, you know, then you have civil society organizations, uh, NGOs, then you have the private industry. So whenever we talk about, you know, whether it's blue economy or, or you know, holistically improved the value chain, we have to get all these stakeholders and more uh, in line. And that obviously is a big challenge. And I'm sure the, you know, discussions like this is definitely a good place to start. But uh, the next step should be implementing something. So that is my solution. So what should be the solution? A pilot project. What I'm proposing is there should be an aquaculture improvement program with one of MPDA's uh, sister organization called NAXA. NAXA stands for National Center for Sustainable Aquaculture. And what we do is we organize a group of smallholder shrimp farmers, organize them into farmer welfare societies, and then give them all kinds of inputs needed, whether it's financial assistance, whether it is uh, training, uh, you know, better post-harvest techniques, all that we do, you know, we even set up an e-commerce platform so that uh, they can buy and sell uh, using an e-commerce platform. However, a lot more needs to be done. Interventions are required. Productivity needs to be increased. And especially disease management. I mean, we are going through coronavirus right now. But as far as the shrimp aquaculture or any kind of fish farming, I mean, we've had viral epidemics since the 90s. And it's just, you know, going from bad to worse, you know, uh, year after year. And another important thing I want to mention is whenever we talk about the blue economy, we also need to highlight the impact of climate change, you know, because, and when I'm talking about climate change, since I'm from Orissa, we shouldn't just think about it as if uh, it's only about cyclones. You know, cyclones, yes, in my state, we've done a very good job as far as preventing deaths is concerned. We must take into account that climate change means, you know, that the incidence of these sudden and short bursts of extreme weather events, whether a dry spell, a heat wave, sudden bouts of rains, you know, they have become much more frequent. So a solution that I'm working towards is having solar powered micro weather stations. Because even though we have the MET department, they will give you a very generic forecast. And the forecast will be for the entire district. Whereas we need it, you know, if possible, to a, from a 25 kilometer radius. And that can be done, you know, through open source weather networks and uh, other solutions are definitely there. Now, why a pilot project? You know, meeting and discussing over uh, you know, web webinars or uh, e even in physical presence, you know, that is a great thing. But a pilot project is taking that connections to the next level. Once we have a pilot project like the one, the aquaculture improvement program that I'm suggesting, imagine all the stakeholders in involved. They will start interacting with each other. They will make actual human relationships. 
and that will ensure that in the future for future projects that we uh, want to implement or future work that needs to be done this just makes it easier you know maybe i'll have contacts with the fisheries department or with my counterparts in sri lanka or bangladesh and you know once that relationship is established we can keep taking it forward <clears throat> thank you very much uh, mr dash for this for this presentation while listening to you i was uh, but i'll tell you i, I got the answer at the end uh, I, I i was wondering you know being more ambitious even you know, sharing your ambition and, and thinking about ambition mm -hmm. i was thinking why a pilot project why not something like a large program based on gathering uh, based on an assessment map mapping an assessment of all the pilot projects which have happened uh, uh, in india already in the past and we we know it's 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 a vivid laboratory I understand uh, that what you mean by that is something that would be more international, more regional across uh, across the Bay of Bengal with colleagues from or with organizations from and other authorities from Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, sorry, the, the pitch I have spoken about, it's only for an India specific one, but yes, we can definitely include Bangladesh and Sri Lanka also. Because I think it's an, uh, more knowledgeable people than, than me are there, uh, but but the key one of the key questions we'll have uh, as we look uh, at practice and as, as projects is to do the right fine tuning between two things: first, mm -hmm. the right mag magnitude of of scaling up and and of ambition, moving away. Uh, the virtue of a pilot project is known for establishing the links which you've developed and a pilot project in an environment where uh, institutions have still to get acquainted to each other is very useful. Now in an environment, so this could pertain to uh, the uh, regional level. Now when the uh, actors know themselves a lot and we've, have, we've had that through the uh, presentation of the large array of tools that we have through data, for instance, but not just through data, the lar large array of tools that exist within a country, for instance, within India, but the same is within Sri Lanka or within uh, Bangladesh. In that matter, uh, and I think it's a, it's a question dear to uh, the AFD, uh, I don't want to speak for them, so I'm speaking under their control, but the right amount of moving ahead even of a pilot project and to see how to scale up a program is of essence.